Yeah, thanks very much, Justin and Tori. Uh, still happy to say here that the uh, weather overall continuing to cooperate with all of these ongoing cleanup efforts, and uh, we overwhelmingly expected to do so not just into the upcoming weekend, but actually well into next week. The only little very minor speed bump we're seeing is this uh, little breakout here of some spotty showers, mainly across western North Carolina this evening. We have a generally cloudy sky in place for just about everybody else. I want to emphasize these showers that we do see in the mountains this evening. They're very light, very sparse not going to cause new flooding or re-aggravate any of the, of course, ongoing issues we have had uh, post Helene. Some of these could eventually stray into upstate skies, I think mostly north of I-85 later this evening, but uh, they will tend to diminish pretty quickly once the sun begins to go down. Then as we look ahead to the weekend, the cold front that's actually stirring up some of the energy for these showers is pretty well removed, still across parts of Ohio and Indiana, but it is going to sink gradually south across our area later tomorrow and into tomorrow night. Initially, it's not going to do a whole lot to make things more comfortable here for now. It'll be a second cold front going into next week that'll follow a similar pattern uh, that will allow uh, some much cooler air to settle on in. But high pressure will be taking over behind this weekend's cold front, so we're looking at overwhelmingly sunny skies going forward. In fact, we'll see that here on Future Track. There you see it through the next hour and probably at least for another two to three more. We'll see a couple more of these spotty showers here and there, although 8 o'clock now showing us uh, potentially even those diminishing in the cl be, uh, clearing starting. We'll see some some high clouds continuing into the midnight time frame tonight. Fast forward to tomorrow morning. Most of us will wake up to abundant sunshine. It's just going to be a lot of those same spots in the mountains that we've been seeing over and over for the past several days that'll wake up to some patchy fog here and there. But as you see going there toward the midday uh, period tomorrow afternoon, uh, into tomorrow afternoon, that is, you see there, and then uh, pretty well into tomorrow evening. Overwhelmingly dry conditions, plentiful sunshine, no new showers or storms to worry about. And in fact, we'll keep that going again into tomorrow night, Sunday morning, all the way out through at least midday Sunday. And like I said, too, frankly, for most of the upcoming week here. See it here on few, uh, the uh, seven day forecast, rather. 82 uh, for our high temp on Saturday, then 81 Sunday, mostly in fact staying in the low 80s for upstate high temps through Monday. So it will stay on the warmer and slightly more muggy side. I know folks who may still be without power, not the news you want to hear. But it is going to get better Tuesday through the second half of next week. Highs fall way down to the low 70s and some nights ahead dipping down into the 50s upstate. But abundant sunshine straight on through and uh, that's especially true in the mountains here as well. We'll see high temps in the upper 70s and low 80s this weekend, but abundant sunshine through the next week and cooler low 70s and even some upper 60s by the middle of next week. Now,